small blitz session, a little bit of a quickie. The queen is out already, let's just push through the center. See if there's a queen exchange going on. Nope, let's just grab anyway, let's attack. Oh, I thought he was going to go for a double door stem, but he's not done that. Shall we attack this knight? Got a bit of space there, potential to come here, but he's going to take this pawn. So let's castle first. Uh, it's double door stem anyway, so we'll bring the rook here, facing the king. So he's now got potential himself to come down, but he's missing a little bit on that side so you can't do that uh, da, 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 da. develop the knight push the pawn he's going to castle he's going to put more pieces onto this he's going to put more pieces on there because he's going to get his rook is his rook going to be in time let's get the knight developed first i think his rook might be in time right hmm So he castles, I'm trying to get something to support this and he's not going for that. I think he's still going to be in time, isn't he? If I attack his knight, get rid of the knight. I'm going to attack the knight to get rid of the knight. Because I think he's going to be fast enough if he realises that he castles, gets his rook. So he's winning that. I don't mind doubling the pawns as we know. So he's actually moved his knight. So that's okay. It takes a bit of pressure off there. So I can attack this knight to get rid of the future potential. But he's blocked off there. So it's slowed down a little bit. So yeah, don't mind doubling the pawns like we said. And let's take this here. Okay, let's bring the bishop here. Momentary blocking the castling. But I suppose this is going to happen. And again, he's still going for this, well, potential of doubling onto this pawn. So we need to be careful. Uh, if we push this pawn up, then the bishop can come here. And then we've got the protection that we wanted. Yeah, so he's got the rook now on there. So we can start pushing onto this knight. He's, going to, he's trying to get rid of the knight like we did. So we're going to push onto his knight. So the, the focal point is on this pawn. You can see the movements that he's, we've both been making. So he gets rid of ours. So let's go here. We've still got two protection on here at the minute. But he has to move his knight now. Okay. And he'll be looking to try and put that pressure back. He's got our pawn here. Um, mm, 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 mm. Hmm. It's got our pawn because we're so busy fighting to avoid this. We've lost the position. But we've got his pawn here. I suppose he simply defends. Hmm. Uh. Well, well, well. I'm just going to have to do a pawn move. Looks like I've jammed myself in. Hmm. So I'm looking to double on this side while his knight's creating havoc all over the place. So you can sense probably coming here. Just trying to stop this knight from jumping down. Attacking the rook at the same time. Oh, that's going to hurt, isn't it? 
got my rook here for free. Damn. Oh my gosh. Take his rook. Take the pawn. Could bring the bishop back. Could bring it here. It's just that it's not hitting anything, is it? We go here. This king comes to defend and then the knight moves. I think I'm going to keep this. Let me move there quick. Let's go here. Go for the aggressive king approach. Oh, he's locking me in. So we can move. Can move. Mate, oh, sha. No, not yet, not yet. Bishop's protecting this pawn. This king's on a white square. Rook can come here. Looking to touch on this side. It's looking a bit tense. He's gone back to defend, so he's defending. Let's attack the rook. Let's come back down. Let's go here again. It's very messy. Well, we can take. Then we lose this pawn, but then he loses the pawn with a check on his king. But then he's got these pawns around here. Then I suppose we've got them pawns around there. Okay, let's take. Mind you, you could take with the rook. Just, <laughs> just saying that. Okay, let's go here. Oh, I thought it was coming back down for the pawn. Um, oh, my time's running out. 34. Wow, why is my time so low? Oh, dear. Wow. Oh, I missed the trick there, didn't I? If I sit, oh, I can't go there. Oops. Oh, loss on time. But I don't think let's see the um Evaluation just to see if the position was okay for us. Draw. <laughs> okay. Minus 0 0.1. Ooh, yeah, that's drawish. Okay, let's hit another one. Well, speed merchant. Let's go here. Hitting two pawns. He's 
hitting two pawns. What shall we do with this situation? He's hitting two pawns. Let's go here. Get the queen right out of the picture. It's probably going to take this one though, but oh no, okay. So the queen is on the other side of the board. We do like that philosophy, just getting it out of the way. Let's get a check on the king here. And let's uh, take this pawn. Let's take this rook. Coming for a little check on the king. Coming for, he's again right down in the far corner. So he's taking himself off of protecting this knight. So let's just take here. And let's take here. A bit closer to the king. He is covering this diagonal. And last thing that we... Oh, and they've resigned. Okay. Let's go on to the next one. That was a bit better than the first one. Okay, let's go here and push for the center. It's coming for our pawn here. So in the meantime, let's grab this pawn. So he's not caring about that sort of situation. Hey, a little bit confident. So let's just attack the knight. Let's hope they've lost a bit of tempo by moving this knight and not developing the other pieces. It's going for monster attacks, okay, so going for a sacrifice, going for a set player type thing going on here. Let's get the king active, and let's just bring the rook here. It's doubling up, well, well let's take anyway, let's bring the king back. And uh, do we need to rush? No, let's go here. Okay, let's just drop the king down. Let's develop the knight. Obviously it keeps the queen there, bring the knight across. So he's gone for like a suffocation attempt, you know, he's gone really aggressive attacking, which is nice, it's good. But I'm looking at the position on the board. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we can win a bit of tempi, start attacking key pieces. Um, let's just attack the queen, like we said. Queen's move, so we could go here, but yeah, that's going in front of their rook. Let's see what the bishop wants to do. Does he really want to take the knight? actually plus two after all that and they've lost the minor piece because oh they did the um, sacrifice didn't they okay let's just smaller piece attacking a higher piece don't want to overthink that one so now he's lined up attacking the knight here and our queen king can move a little bit further just to here is that right yeah let's just move the king across So what sites do we have at the minute? We've got the pieces in the centre of the board. His king is, is home alone, really. So we should be able to make some sort of inroads into getting towards that area, if we can. Queen takes, okay, so are we looking for an exchange here? Seeing as we are material up. He may not do, he may think, well, no, I, I can't quite afford, he can't go there and I'll take him. Can't quite afford to exchange, so I'm going to bring my queen here. So I'm going to chase him a little bit, so I'll see what he wants to do. Can't go there, he can go here, so he's going to be looking for safety, trying to come across somehow. We are starting to hit the king area a little bit now okay so he's moved knight can't actually get to the queen at the minute this knight can't so let's focus on this area here 
and we could look to exchange the rook off but he is targeting this square with his queen so that wouldn't be a good thing for us and I'm going to attack the queen again he may go backwards and forwards Sometimes I think if they try to avoid exchanging the queen for so long, they kind of run out of space. So he's now making space to go backwards here. And does the knight have an attack on? And I'm going to attack the queen again. Is he looking for a double dose on this side? So if he's not interested, he's going further, further back. Well, he's, he's definitely going further, further back. So let's see if that principle works, that you know they don't want to exchange and they end up losing out. Knight can come here now, attacking the rook. Does that make sense for us? This knight could come here. Mm -mm. Could go there, but he's got his knight there. I think I like this, let's go here. Okay, so a so smaller piece attacking the higher piece, his knight is protected at the moment. And his rook, we could take him with the rook because it's got a check on his king. And then his rook comes, but then he's owning the file. Another exchange with the queen at the minute? Nope. Nope. X-ray through. Definitely can't go here, definitely can't go there. Uh, da, 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 da. could come all the way back let's go here x-ray through to the queen nothing protecting the queen so if the knight does some fancy moves we can take the queen for free so now you can expect oh what's this going on now so let's go for an exchange here an exchange attempt was he feeling a bit of pressure there? I thought he would have done a small paw move on one of these night on my knight. Hmm. Okay, so he's cleaning house. We do have this if they fall asleep. So if they go rook takes, then it's not a checkmate, but it's a pretty nice position for us to be in. You probably can expect that, but then we'd do that. Oh, no. But it's not over. It's not over, so I'm not getting giddy, but we'll take here. And we could drop down, and he doesn't really have anything that can protect. So that's like checkmate, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so that was an interesting one. Nice, nice comeback. I think that'll do for the Blitz session. Excellent.